Hello, I'm Jennifer Miller, and welcome to this edition of Inside Temecula, your exclusive link to what's happening in Temecula and what it means to you. With spring in the air and summer just around the corner, it's time to do our part in rounding up those pesky weeds that can turn into fire hazards when things heat up. And make no mistake about it, Jennifer, things will heat up. Hi, I'm Jeff Camachero, and one of the things I've learned over the years living in Temecula is that wildfires are a part of life. Not a good part of life, mind you, but one that you can definitely defend against. With a higher than average rainfall this past winter, we have to be extra diligent this year in our efforts to prevent and guard our properties against wildfires. One of the best things we can do is to create a defensible space around our homes and structures. Southern California is an extremely dry environment, and these environments are conducive to wildland fires. In California's history, 10 of the largest fires have been within the last four years. The best way to prevent your home from being overrun by a wildfire is to do what we call defensible space. Defensible space is an area around your home that allows for a reduction of hazardous materials by setting a perimeter at least 100 feet and reducing the fuels as they get closer to your home to 30 feet within your home to bare mineral soil. Defensible space provides an opportunity to protect your home. Here's how to create defensible space the right way. Do all yard maintenance that requires a gas or electric motor before 10 a.m not in the heat of the day or when the wind is blowing. Lawn mowers are designed to mow lawns. Never use lawn mowers in dry vegetation. Keep the exhaust system, spark arresters and mower in proper working order and free of carbon buildup. Use the recommended grade of fuel and don't top off. Keep the engine free of oil and dust and keep the mower free of flammable materials. Remove rocks in the area before you begin operating any equipment. A rock hidden in the grass or weeds is enough to start a fire when struck by a metal blade. Keep a cell phone nearby and call 911 immediately in case of fire. In wildland areas, spark arresters are required on all portable gasoline powered equipment, including tractors, harvesters, chainsaws, weed eaters, mowers, motorcycles, and all trained vehicles. Don't pull off into dry grass or brush. Hot exhaust pipes and mufflers can start fires you won't even see until it's too late. Whether working to create a defensible space around your home, just mowing the lawn, or pulling your dirt bike over to the side of the road, if you live in a wildland area, you need to use all equipment responsibly. Do your part the right way to keep your community fire safe. It's important to have defensible spaces between residents, but it's even more important to have them in undeveloped large spaces. The City of Temecula's Municipal Code has a, a powerful enforcement program set up for weed abatement. In that program, we go out and inventory the properties, identify them, and then send certified mailings to the property owners in order to have either voluntary abatement of weeds or a forced abatement of weeds. Any dead vegetation four inches or taller must be abated. And this is for all properties, whether they be occupied or undeveloped properties. A lot of our abatement on the large properties are from out-of-state property owners. And it's more uh, of a convenience for them to allow us to abate it, knowing that the properties are gonna be leaned and knowing that they're willing to pay for our service. The monies that are expended in order to abate the hazardous vegetation is recapped through tax liens. There's no tax dollars being spent. It's all recapped through the lien process onto these properties. Temecula Weed Abatement Program in the city of Temecula is a win-win for everybody. We get the hazardous vegetation abated, we have the properties clean, we have a recap of our expenditures. It makes a safe, clean community for all of us, whether you have a developed or undeveloped property. And that's all great advice as we approach another fire season. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Inside Temecula, and please join us for our regular news updates right here on Channel 3. To watch Inside Temecula on the web, 
Or for more information on what's happening in Temecula, check out Temecula Outreach at temeculaoutreach.com. Thanks for watching.